let's write a MapReduce application, which means specifying the mapper and reducer. So here are some examples of how to implement those in Python. Mappers and reducers are both self-contained Python programs. They read from standard input and write to standard output. So they're going to be run as Unix processes, and they are part of the task that you see in the implementation diagram, but they don't have to handle the part about shuffling. That happens automatically. Okay, so what's a mapper look like? We're going to implement a mapper that takes in a line of input, counts all of the vowels in each in that line, and emits a key value pair where the key is a vowel and the value is a count. And here's the code. So it's just a function, a pure function of the input, which is a line of text. For every vowel in A, E, I, O, and U, we're going to count how many times that vowel appears in the line. And if that count is greater than zero, then we will emit the vowel as the key and the count as the value. Now there are some aspects to this that aren't defined yet. So here we have a comment at the top that tells Unix that this is Python 3 code that should be executed using the Python 3 interpreter. And then we import a function called emit, which just prints out a key value pair, separated by a tab, as a line of text to standard output. Then, all we have to do is say, for every line in standard in, emit the vowels on that line. And this is the entirety of our mapper, a standalone application. So the mapper inputs are lines of text provided to standard input. So we can actually run this mapper. I have it defined here. I added a comment at the top that it counts vowels. So I can run the count vowels mapper program. And if I write, hello, how are you? It will tell me how many A's, E's, O's, and U's are in there. The I's are skipped because there are no I's. And then the cat program just prints out the contents of a file. Here's that haiku I wrote earlier. Google MapReduce is a big data framework for batch processing. And if I take that text and I pipe it into our count vowels mapper program, then it will tell me all of the different vowels and counts for each line. So notice that O is repeated because there's an O on this line and there's also an O on this line. Oh, and one on this, two on this line as well. Okay, so we have three different O's in the output. So now we have a mapper. Let's look at the reducer. So the reducer is also a Python program. Again, we tell Unix that. And we import emit to emit key value pairs. And then another function that groups values by key. So this takes and returns iterators. The iterator that it takes in is over lines of text representing key value pairs, which are grouped by key. And then the output is also an iterator, but over pairs that are a key followed by an iterator over all the values for that key. So that gives all the values for each key, which are the things that need to be combined using the reducer. So what this reducer does is it calls values by key on the standard input and for each key and value iterator that it gets, it emits that key, summing the contents of the value iterator. So these are all of the different numbers that you get after outputting this thing. So here's the sum reducer. And the sum reducer needs to be applied, not to this output, but to the same output grouped by a key. So we can get that by piping this through the sort command. The sort command is going to sort all of these lines and therefore group all the A's together, then the E's, then the I's, then the O's, and then the U. So now that we've sorted it in this way, we could pipe that output through the sum reducer and we'll get all of the A's summed together. There are six, five E's, two I's, five O's, and one U. So we haven't used the MapReduce framework yet. All we're doing is piping things together using the Unix operating system. So we're not running anything in parallel. This is all happening sequentially. But it's the case that we've built all the components we need in order to run the full MapReduce. 